Welcome back, everyone. We have met so many amazing rescue animals yeah. this week looking for their forever homes, as we do every week. And before we head into the weekend, we just wanted to revisit with them one more time, yeah. didn't we, with Larissa? Yes, it's so much fun. Now that we get to have two a day for Adoption Ever After, it's just wonderful getting to see them here or on FaceTime and then eventually going on to their forever homes. No, yes. you do such awesome. a good job, Larissa. Thank All right, let's you. talk about Danny and Jose, who were here. Danny came yeah. in to eat in the kitchen with us. Yes, yes, let's first, I know, Danny <laughs> likes his food. But first, let's talk about Jose, who was just oh. gorgeous. Now, he is a sight hound, available at Sight Hound Underground, and he's a galgo. And what galgos are is they are really bred in Spain as hunting dogs. Unfortunately, if they're not good hunters or when hunting season is over, they're kept in these squalor oh, conditions. No. Oh and this wonderful rescue, Sight Hound Underground, goes to Spain. And that those are five That's of the ones incredible. they brought over. So can you explain something to me? Sight Hound, is that the same as a greyhound? It, part of the same family. Family, like Greyhound, right. Afghan hound, but oh. sight hounds are a specific type of the breed, okay. and they're very fast. Faster, they can do longer distances than greyhounds, and they're excellent hunting dogs. And so they are used and unfortunately abused at the same oh, time. God. And and Jose is now living a wonderful oh. life here in Washington, D.C., oh. and is up for adoption. Again, he's a galgo. He's a lover. He loves laying on the couch, which yeah. we saw earlier in the day. And he oh. just, I know. I mean, as I was saying earlier, dogs are amazing because they're so resilient. Yeah. And these five were given up by a Spanish hunter, and we're oh. so thankful to rescues like Sighthound Underground that do the hard work. Yeah. They're the ones that really are boots on the ground and going yeah. over there and transporting them and rehabbing them. Yep. So he he's awesome and ready for adoption. And then Danny, yep. Yep. the little cocker spaniel boy who okay, was here he, with hi, us. He's made himself so at home. Funny, <laughs> yes. <laughs> two to three. Over. I know, two to three years old. He had little bows in his hair. Oh. He knows how to sit give a paw, he likes belly rubs as well. He's about 30 pounds, he has his natural long tail, which a lot of Cocker yeah. Spaniels yes. don't yeah, have as they get yeah. docked. Yeah. Uh, loves giving kisses, smart, trainable. The only thing about Cocker Spaniels is they do have gr a lot of grooming mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of their long ears and they, you know, their hair grows long. So just something to take note of if you're looking to maybe add a family dog. They do require some upkeep, but he's available at Second Chance Cocker Rescue. Oh, so and he's here in Central California. Very good. Yeah. A couple cute there. I mean, we all fell in love with the rescues this week, right? Uh, Ken, didn't we? Uh, I, mean, I can't there was even. A couple I can't even. I had a whole moment with a mambo, tango, and um, cha, -cha. cha cha. Those three puppies. I, I had to be strong. Well, you I had have three steal. children. Yeah. Three oh, puppies. believe me, the math was going through my yeah. head. Except go. I wouldn't be here today because my husband would have killed me. If I brought them. Yeah. But your kids would have been thrilled. Such yeah. beautiful little puppies Aren't and they? so friendly. I know. Oh, they were still look a little at bit about that. Oh, look at them. Oh, yes, they're them. so darn cute. Oh. They're available through Big Love Animal Rescue here oh. in the Sherman Oaks Valley Village area of Los Angeles. Oh. Oh. They were brought over. They were they're found basically. Basically born and uh, and like left on like a cold. Street. That's crazy. I mean, it's horrible. Yeah. Okay. And they are just so so sweet. And of course, their puppies, their Chihuahua Terrier mixes. They're oh. gonna have their little puppy energy and their Look, puppy moments. But they're not but gonna get big. They're gonna stay they're small. They're gonna be great. about ten to twelve. Yeah. 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 Why are you trying to convince us? Exactly. Internal conversation I'm having. Yeah. We're okay with you adopting these three dogs. Barely add up to a full dog. Are you practicing for your husband? So you can tell them why. <laughs> Listen, you weren't alone. LZ oh, keeps talking about wanting to adopt oh, a dog. Yes. And I'm telling you, that little Bert, Bert. won his heart. Take a look, look at him. Oh. He could not stop with Bert. He was obsessed. At first I said to him, you know, Bert's yeah. tiny. You could take him home. Yeah. And he, I mean, he was kind of joking, but then he would not let the dog go. Aww. Bert is adorable. He's so cute. Bert's yeah. available through Animal Hope and Wellness here again in the yeah. Sherman Oaks area of Los Angeles. And he <laughs> is just a, another chihuahua mix. And I, listen Aww. to him. He's, he's talking to him. Uh, you know, he's saying so it. Docile. Yeah. So docile. So yeah. docile. So calm. Dog Chihuahuas. Too. Yeah. Not like Lawrence. <laughs> Chihuahuas oh. are the second most euthanized dogs in the shelter. Oh. Just because there are so many of them. And, you know, a lot of people think you've seen one, you've seen them all. They all right. kind of look alike. No. They, they're not. They have no. such love to give. And so uh, hopefully, oh. hopefully Lawrence maybe 
Goes home well, with Mr. Yeah. Burr. He's good we for We got Lawrence. Ken working on some. We got LZ. And oh, then yeah. it was no surprise, Paige fell in love with those kids. <laughs> oh, oh, anime boy, and Sony. They right? So a couple yes. of cuties oh, there. Oh, look, they were so oh, beautiful. Does she have like five animals now? Is yeah, that, basically. Going to seven? Seven. Yeah. And they were with <laughs> through Kitten Rescue LA and so, so darn cute. Five and look six months her. old oh, each. The little white one was just <laughs> gorgeous, strikingly gorgeous. Oh, and yes. then little Sony was just as cute as well. No way. Oh, well, those were just the animals that were in our home that, that actually came here and visited. <laughs> we right. visited with so many other animals around the country. And I know, Larissa, it is virtually impossible for you to ever choose one. I can't. There, there are no favorites in this heart of mine. Yeah. I can't. So I actually ended up putting something little together for everybody to oh, see the ones right. we FaceTimed okay. with. Okay. Take, a look. take a look at this. On Monday, we met Casper, a three-year-old boxer bulldog mix from Lee County Humane Society in Auburn, Alabama. How could you say no to these ears? Casper is great with people and other dogs and blossoms in a home environment. Then we had two rescues from Missouri. First, it was Boudreaux, the American Bulldog Mix from Wayside Waifs in Kansas City. He's been without a family for 300 days. It's heartbreaking, we gotta find him a home. He's super sweet, but overlooked because of his dark colored fur. And yesterday we met Homer the Cat from a Five Acres Animal Shelter in St. Charles. He's a big fluff ball who can even give high fives and is a great office companion. But it was little Stephanie from the Sato Project in New York who really made us all say, aww. Stephanie was rescued from Puerto Rico a few days ago and just played with her first toy. Aww. I mean, first toy. So cute. So many cuties. I mean, the, the that's you know, that's what's so awesome about rescues. It, you know, she just played with her first toy. Oh, when you oh. rescue an animal, you get to see so many firsts, that so many true. blossoming moments. It's like when you have a kid. And it's so exciting to be there. And I know a lot of people think you need a puppy or a kitten to bond. You don't. These rescue dogs that have come from not the best situations, they bond immediately. Because yeah, they know you've saved they their lives. They know, really they do. know. And we've got breaking news this week. We've got some good news. We've got a happy tale yes! from this from week. This Larissa, week. tell us about it. Yes, it was. it's already Scooter the Kitty Cat Scooter. from Kern yes. County Aww. Animal Services Look in Bakersfield. Scooter. Scooter has <laughs> gone on to find his forever home. It did not take long. He's just a few months old and so Aww. sweet. And this brings us up to 776. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Larissa Wall. I say it every day. I can't say it enough. We all say it. Our viewers say it. You are the patron saint of animals. I mean, you really true. are. Thank you. I get or I'm comments crazy. on my Instagram about <laughs> Larissa saving all these animals and all the adoption things. I, I know. Really do. Yeah, and that's just what you see on TV. <laughs> she does so much more behind the scenes. Yeah. The true story. It's exhausting, but I it love it. It is so true. You it. wouldn't have it any other way. No, we know that. Never. Thank you so much, Larissa. And thank you all for watching. And thank you all for adopting some of these beautiful animals. And to see all the animals we feature every day, go to hallmarkchannel.com and absolutely visit Larissa's <laughs> website, SaveByTheL.com. Coming up next, we have more from our family, so come on back and join us.